Hello farmers, welcome back to another edition of Farming Simulator 2013. We are back on my regular farms here where I'm finally in the positive. I've got $126,000 to my name. I'm quite proud of myself. And what we're going to do this episode is we are going to try and see if we can't start investing ourselves into some hay uh, machinery. We do a lot of wheat on our farm, and we're wasting a lot of the hay over there, so don't know if it's worth it or not, or if it's even going to be, you know, a lot of money income, but I figured it would be at least more income than we're possibly getting here, so it's not going to hurt us. So I figured, ah, what the heck. Okay, we'll get this guy finishing up there. Okay, so we've got currently canola planted on this farm here. We've got canola planted on this farm here. The other farm over there is not planted with anything because that's the one that has all of the hay just laying around on it. So I have not planted or fertilized this farm yet. Um, these two are also fertilized. Um, let's see, what else have we got? Um, also, oh, and this farm way out here by the end is planted uh, harvest or seeded, fertilized, all that sort of stuff. So we're all good out here. And I want to thank, I don't re remember your name, I apologize, but I want to thank somebody in the comments below for letting me know about being able to link two trailers together. I didn't know you could do that. So instead of constantly running one trailer back and forth, I can just hitch two trailers together and then tow it with a trailer. So thank you very much for that. That is going to make running loads so much better for me now that I've got two loads of canola here that I'm going to take over to the end real quick because the bailing ooh, I'm struggling going up with two trailers now I used to be able to just fly up and down this hill um, but yeah so the farming equipment is not going to be cheap I've got $126,000 right now so I was really hoping that turning in a couple of loads of uh, some supplies would get me over that edge of, oh my goodness, of, uh, you know, being able to afford a couple pieces, you know, of the bailing machinery, but we'll see. What's going on there? A little traffic jam or something? <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to, after we drop these loads off, we're going to see roughly how much some bailing technology is. I know that you've got to have a bailing machine that turns it into the bales and then you also have to have a trailer or a loader to do it that way manually or there's also a machine that will actually pick it up and put it on trailers for you. I don't know enough about it yet but I figured that I would uh, give it a whirl and see if it's even worth my time. Okay, let's go ahead and offload this trailer. Yeah, that's pretty good money there. Offload, switch to that trailer. Offload that trailer. Oh, that is so much better. <laughs> that is nice. All right. It's just a pain to back these things up to hitch them together. It took me like two minutes to back this thing up because it's got like a double jointed hitch on there so it doesn't back up like a true trailer does. So it makes it a little more difficult than normal. Okay, so now we have got our stuff all dumped off. We've got $151,000 here now in our pockets. So let's go ahead and let's take a look and see what kind of bailing technology we can get our hands on here. So we've got some harvesters, potato harvesting, beet harvesting, tippers. See, I'd like to buy two of those as well. Um, I don't know if they will double hitch like those other trailers, though, but I'd like to buy a bigger trailer because um, right now we're loading volume is 5700 this loading volume is 24,000 and it's only a $21,000 trailer so for 42,000 we can get two of those as well let's see cultivators plows sewing machines fertilizer spreaders sprayers I'd like to get this sprayer too that one would be pretty nice um, this sprayer works good it's just this one here would be you know a little bit faster uh, but right now, we are looking for bailing technology. 
So for a hundred and twenty thousand dollars, we can buy a Crone Big Pack 1290 Square Baler, compacting hay or straw to square bales. So the new technology of this large square baler creates high density bales. This pays off quickly when transporting large amounts of straw. So it says it's got a good payout on it. So I think that's what we're going to try to do. But the problem is, is how do we transport them once we purchase this thing? Uh, let's see. So this thing here, collecting and stacking square bales. Okay, okay. Uh, bale transport with a solid 18 ton chassis, which ensures better, ensures better road handling due to higher load center. So this is the transporting of round or square. So we can do one of two things. Um, we can buy ourselves a cheapy trailer like this and a loader and a, and a fork and put it on manually. So if we were to, let's go ahead and buy our square machine. We're gonna go ahead and buy our square baler. So let's go ahead and buy that, boom. Okay, we've got that. So now we can either buy a trailer for 3,600 so, or let's see, this machine do it, does it all for us, apparently. And this thing is $95,000 for that. So we're looking at 3600 bucks for that thing. And then we are also going to need front end loader. So another 26000 for a front end loader, plus the three grand. So we're looking at 29000 And then we are going to need... Uh, that's to move pallets around. Um, grab, okay, we need something to haul the hay. Um, let's see. Bale fork. With a bale fork, you can heave straw and hay bales onto a trailer. That's what we're gonna need right there. So we're gonna need that as well. Um, Yep, so this is what we're going to need right there, a bell fork. So we we might barely just make buying this whole trailer to do it all ourselves. So I think what we'll do is we'll buy ourselves a front end loader. We're going to buy the Weedman. It's the lower end front loader. Obviously, there's a lot of really nice front end loaders out there, like a couple of them. But for ooh, what is that? Oh, okay. All right, so there's a lot of nicer loaders, but for now, we're just gonna go ahead and buy this one. So $26,000 to buy that front end loader. Boom, we got that. Okay, now we are going to need the forks to haul the hay, which is this one here. So we'll buy that. Oh, we barely just made getting the trailer, it looks like. So baling technology, there's our baler trailer. We'll buy that. Oh, we barely made it, guys. Very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our equipment here, and let's go ahead and reset our tractor, reset our trailer, reset our other trailer, reset our weight, and then we're going to reset our front end loader, our forks, our trailer, and our baler. Okay, so it looks like everything Oh, and this guy's done seating as well. Beautiful. It looks like he missed a whole section here, though. Let's do this real quick. I hate having gaps. Okay, let's lower it. And then turn it on. I don't want the ridge markers. There we go. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. There we go. Okay, that's a whole gap of... Uh, product we're going to be missing right down the center of our field there. Don't want that now. Wow, it looks like he missed a whole bunch of stuff over here. Look at all this. So we're just going to turn like this. There we go. <laughs> we're making all these zigzags in there. Okay, so we got that picked up. Okay, very nice. Let's go ahead and park our sew machine. Park it right off to the side, right here, out of work, just fine. Okay, let's drop that. 
now this is where the fun hopefully is going to begin here. We've got those fields all planted. There's our front end loader. There's our forks right next to it. There's our trailer and our new baling machine. Let's give it a whirl, guys. All right, we got the new baling machine. Let's give it a shot. I'm excited. Let's see what we can see what we can do here. I'm assuming we just drag this thing around. Here, let's try this. I've got an idea. Let's let the NPC do it first. Can I even hire? No, I can't. Turn on Baylor. Oh, nice. So I've got to do this myself. So I can't hire an NPC for this. Wow, that is a lot of hay. I hope there's a big turnaround, you know, a turnout for this. What is this thing doing? Is it going to spit out a hay bale back here? How fast can I go? Can I go to number two? Oh, nice. I can go to number two without going too fast. This is the cruise control, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Sounds like it's working. Not exactly sure. Oh, I heard something else just turn on there. Oh, yep, two is my fastest I can go with this thing. I'm assuming... Oh, there it is down there. There's the fullness of it. So it's at 16% and then, wow. So you've got to do that much of it to spit out one hay bale? That better be like a thousand dollar freaking hay bale. Wow. That's an expensive, uh... I just hope this turns out. Because this was what took all my money, so about a hundred and fifty thousand dollar investment in this hay technology. So we'll really crossing my fingers that getting all crazy here. It sucks that you can't hire somebody to do this. Okay, we're at 90% here. Oh, it's spitting out a hay bale. Nice. Looks like it's slowly pooping a hay bale. <laughs> Here it comes. All that work for one hay bale. This is our first official hay bale here, guys. Come on, we'll turn around here. So it's almost like the new hay bale kind of that's getting built kind of slowly pushes out the old hay bale there. Almost full for another bale. Slowly pushing them out. So that's what it does. It kind of slowly pushes the next one out as the next one gets built. And then it should just drop it onto my farm. And then I should have the ability of driving around with the front end loader. So I'll have to drink, bring the trailer out here since I'm running by myself right now. I don't have a little, uh, I don't have Geo or anybody with me to help me out. So I'll have to bring the trailer out here and use the loader and uh, pick up the bales myself. Oh, here comes the first one. The first one's almost about to fall off the back there. It's pushing out two bales right now, working on the third. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> here it comes. Man, that's like... Uh, Almost out. Okay, spin around real quick. There we go. Oh, it's compressing another bale. And 
one. It's going to fall. There it goes. Our first hay bale. <laughs> All right. So like I said before, hopefully the hay has a high yield of money because like I said, we just spent $150,000 on this technology. So with the turnover of the hay, the hay bales, um, yeah, I just really hope that uh, we make some good money off of it. That'll be a bummer if they're only like $100 a bale or something stupid like that because then this would have been a poor investment on my part, but we'll see. We'll make a couple more passes of this. Actually, we'll make one more pass. We'll stop up here, and then we'll get the front end loader. We'll put it on the trailer, and we'll take it over to our barn over there, and then we'll see how much it gives us per bale. Oops, fits out another one. All right, we are gonna stop here. Let's turn off our baler. Go ahead and jump out of this and let's switch over to our front end loader. All right, got our front end loader. Let's go ahead and flip this bad boy around and let's pick up our forks. Press mouse button for additional controls. Ta Holy mother. Alright, press mouse button. Oh, okay, so up and down. Oh, so holding the left mouse button and pulling down on the mouse will raise and lower the boom. Okay, left to right. Okay, hold left and right tilts it. Okay. Oh, and holding right click and pushing up and down extends and lowers the boom. Okay, got it, got it. All right, so we can put this down like this and that's how we're gonna scoop the bales there. All right, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but let's give it a shot. Let's go pick up our first uh, hay bale here. We won't bother putting it on a trailer just because there's not a whole bunch of them over here. Maybe it's easier to go into the cab. I don't know. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Let's see how this works. Looks like I'm just pushing the hay bale around. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, that that's a little. Uh, it's kind of hard to do, actually. Can I lose the hay bale off my forks? Okay, so we got the first hay bale. That actually takes a little little bit of technique to move the forks and the boom around with your mouse and the controls, but. Okay, so right now we have $1,221. Let's see how much this gives us. I think we take it. 1,002, whoa. I had 1,220 and it just shot me up to 1,900. So what is that, a six, what is that, $600? No, seven. $700 for a bale of hay. You figure if we can crack out 30 or 40 bale, I don't know how many bales of hay this is going to hit on this field here, but that's it's not too bad. $700 for a bale of hay. I think we'll make our money back and then some on this. I just wonder how they're going to stack on this trailer. Like if you just put them on there and they kind of auto stack on their own, or if you've got to like be all like technical with it and you know do stuff like this and. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a little difficult, but let's see if our let's let's see if our tractor can even pull this thing. Let's see, it should because it can pull two of those other ones. It 
it should be able to pull the baling trailer. Oh yeah, it can pull the baling trailer just fine. Let's grab our weight real quick. There we go. Because I don't know how heavy those bales of hay are going to be for this thing. So we're going to try one last thing. Oops. We're going to try one last thing before we wrap up this video. And that's we're going to try putting a single hay bale on the trailer. We're going to see if it auto stacks them perfectly or if you have to do it. Because if you have to do it, that's going to be a pain in the butt to do. So let's go ahead and bring this out here. Park it just in front of it, just like this. Perfect. We'll switch back to our front end loader here. Yeah, that's a little <laughs> that's a little challenging to operate this thing. Take some concentration. <laughs> All right. Let's come on over here. Let's see how this works. Yeah, this is. This is challenging. There we go. Okay. Now let's put it on the trailer. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Get off. Get off. Okay, let's come forward a little bit more. Oh my goodness. Let's go higher. Nope, stay on, stay on. You're kidding me. We gotta stack these things manually like this? Oh my goodness. I guess that's why this is a simulator. Holy hell. This is going to be quite challenging. Wow. Do we have it? No, we don't. How about now? Oh, no, it's under the trailer. Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is definitely very challenging. Wow. Yeah, I'm definitely going to invest in that automatic one that puts them on the trailer for you. Because this is for the birds. <laughs> this is like complicated. Okay, did I get it? Yes, I did. Okay, I've got the hay bale. Okay, let's, let's extend our arm. Now let's slowly let it down. Wow, this is complicated. Come on. Get off of my fork. Okay, it's not letting me drop it. Oh, there it goes. There we go. I got no, I stabbed it. Okay, get away from it. All right. We have one hay bale that looks like it's sliding towards the back of my trailer. Wow, that's like, I figured maybe you just got near it, it would auto stack the bales for you. Let me see now if these, if the 
hay will just slide off the trailer now. No, it stays put. But that's just going to make for a very time-consuming process to do this. Wow. Okay, so let me see. If we go back to our baling technology, I think this one here was the one that automatically stacks it. All you got to do is just pull it, and it pulls the bales into it. Uh, usage collecting and stacking. Yep. With the Arcrucian Auto Stack FS63-72, a single operator is able to carry out a whole collection and stacking process of large quantity bales. Very nice. That's going to be our next investment, guys. Another $95,000. Definitely going to be the auto stacker because, uh, let's see, how much would it cost us to get rid of this? 1800 to resell the trailer, but you get more if you take it right to the actual store, in case you guys didn't know that. You get more for your equipment if you drive it to the store. So take that extra minute and drive your equipment back to the store if you don't want it anymore. Um, let's see. Front end loader. See, 13 grand, but you'll get probably like 18 grand or 19 grand for taking it back to the shop and selling it personally. And then the, uh, let's see, that's the pallet fork. Um, this one here. So we'll get maybe like five or 600 bucks for reselling that again. So we're looking at not having enough to buy our little auto stacker but you know what this was at least a good learning experience um, I may give it another go and see if I can get a little bit better with that front end loader it's definitely challenging to operate um, but yeah I don't know we might give it another go and, and see but it's it's definitely quite challenging to do um, it's definitely uh, an experience but like I said I'll give it another go and uh, if I can't figure it out or if it's just taking too much time and I want to make some more money you know, a little bit quicker, then we'll go with that auto stacker. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed another Farming Simulator 2013 video. See you guys next time.